Okay, riders. So thank you all for joining me for the pro getaway uh, from KTM India. Now this event we have been doing it for quite some time, and we have done uh, one pro getaway uh, that was last year, and we rode to Manas that time. This time we are riding to Shillong City, that is uh, Elephant Falls. Now we originally planned for Shillong Peak, but then due to unforeseen circumstances, Shillong Peak is closed down. So we'll be riding to Elephant Falls. Now on the road, uh, I want you to notice two, three things. That is, uh, there are some uh, special things about your bikes that uh, you might already know because most of you have been customers for this bike for quite a long time. But in case you don't, I'm gonna teach you some things on the way. But uh, till then, let's just enjoy the first leg of the ride, which is uh, from the showroom to the check gate. That is, after we cross the toll, we will reach our Umling check gate. That is, uh, the entry gate from Ayalaya. And then there'll be some checking. I think all you, uh, all of you have done your registration with the Meghalaya app. So you need to carry your double vaccination certificates and we'll show it there. And uh, we'll enter Meghalaya. Then our first uh, location would be the first photography location where I'm going to stop. So basically all of you will follow me for the entire ride because I'm going to be the lead. And he's going to be the sweep for the ride. So he'll be the last guy that you don't need to go behind. So you'll be between him and me. So he'll be the last guy, I'll be the first guy and you'll be in between. Now the, don't worry about this and don't get bored because the speeds are not going to be boring because me I will never ride too slowly. I will take it uh, not that fast also but at a decent speed so that all of you can enjoy your bikes. Right because that's what we are here for. And if anybody wants to stop or you know get gets a breakdown whatever whatsoever it is and you stop by and other riders went off. Don't worry, I'll be there with you. Yeah. I'll take you and then we'll join. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. And today we are KTM ride. This is the Pro Getaway. And this is Duke 390 and 250 owners. And we have done this ride like last time Manas. So this time we are going to Shillong. This time the destination is Shillong. So now we have left from the showroom. And this vlog is in Hindi. Because बहुत सारे मेरे subscribers हैं जो मेरे को बोल रहे थे कि हिंदी में vlog बनाओ। It's been a very long time I didn't make anything in Hindi, so they wanted me to do something in Hindi. So this is for them. I hope आपको ये पसंद आए and this is just the starting. आप लोगों ने briefing अभी देख लिया होगा अभी तक। कल briefing में मैंने उनको riders briefing में WhatsApp पे बोला था कि सारे fuel करा के आए यहाँ पे, लेकिन लोगों ने fuel कराया नहीं है। तो अभी हम जा रहे हैं First stop fueling के लिए जो कि है बर्नी हार्ट fueling station एक बार ही वो fuel up हो जाए उसके बाद हम रुकेंगे उमलिंग check gate पे जहाँ पे mandatory corona entry gate है वो basically तो उसमें checking करानी पड़ती है और certificates दिखाने पड़ते हैं dual vaccination के so आज जो company के तरफ से हमको दी गई है bike वो है KTM Duke 250 जो कि बहुत अच्छी बाइक है, बहुत बैलेंस्ड बाइक है। लास्ट टाइम जो हमने चलाई थी Pro Getaway में, वो थी Duke 250 BS4, ये है BS6। तो ये बाइक ना मेरे को पहले से ज़्यादा स्मूथ लगी। और यहाँ पे एक छोटा मोटा एक्सीडेंट दिखने को मिला। Shit! तो उधर से आया होगा ट्रक और संभाल नहीं पाया। तो मैं बोल रहा था कि BS4 से ये BS6 वाला वेरिएंट ना बहुत ज़्यादा स्मूथ है। और ऐसे दरवाजे खुले हुए मैजिक अब देखोगे कितना अनसेफ है ये सब देखो। So the fuel up is just done and we will start hitting the corners now. So there was some small action and some footages that uh, the guys were taking. So we posed up from some rolling shots or 
ये सब करके ना फिर कस्टमर्स को बहुत पसंद आता है क्योंकि एंड ऑफ द डे जब हम राइड्स पे निकलते हैं तो उसके सारे जो फन है वो पूरा फन जो है मेमोरीज में रहता है और मेमोरीज आता है थ्रू फोटोज थ्रू वीडियोज तो वैसे ही सब कुछ दिखता है So what an exciting first photo session it was. The boys are absolutely amazing and on fire. So there has been a slight delay because of a small crash. I did not cover the crash because I didn't want to show uh, the problem and who crashed because that's uh, unethical. But ho jata hai kabi kabar ride mein. So abhi hum nikal rahe hai and we're not going to stop at the second location. Hum directly nikal rahe hai. Elephant Falls ke liye, which is in Shillong. This is another very beautiful scenery. Ye jagah dekhiye zara. Yahan pe bahut pehle jab ye road ban raha tha, tab humne thoda sa na photo shoot aur video shoot kara tha idhar. Nerd, apna jo group hai, nerd, usko leke. Par na, aajkal wo hota nahi hai. So in a moment we are reaching Barapani Lake. I mean we have already come to the junction. यहाँ से साइमिका की तरफ जाते हैं और हम उस जंक्शन पे हैं। अभी बस थोड़ी देर में दो तीन कोनर के बाद हम Barapani पहुँचने वाले हैं। ये देखिए, this is not fog or mist. यहाँ पे आग लगी हुई है and this is all smoke. Shillong city enter करने से just पहले Shit, this guy was doing full fledged cornering. I wish you guys could see that, yeah. I want you guys to see that. I hope we can follow him till some corners and we can see that. Here they go. In ko koi farag ni parta, in ka pichla wheel hill rai, yagla jagame na jai. Bhai saab ko cornering karna hai, full two. Nice. How often अगर आपको ये सब दिखता है, scenes. So ये है intersection जहाँ से हमने right लेना है. तो basically क्या होता है कि if we want to go inside the city, Shillong city, हमने इस साइड जाना है और ये जो है this is upper Shillong और यहाँ से चेरापुंजी भी जाते हैं, डाउकी भी जाते हैं तो हर most of the tourist destination इस साइड से ही जाते हैं। So we have just reached the location and it's a beautiful one. Right now we're doing a little bit of photography and after this we will go have lunch at this guy's place, Uttam. And we have already been there, you must have seen the videos before. Olivia's kitchen, we're going there again to have damn, 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 damn good food. So we have almost completed our journey today. Very energetic lot. That was very nice of you. A big round of applause to all of you first. And now we're proceeding to a short DIY session. So these are going to be some very short tips that I'm going to show you. Uh, you don't need to go to a showroom or a workshop to do any of these. And these are very simple yet very important things to do. 
See, that delivers the power to your rear wheel. And secondly, are the brakes to stop your motorcycle whenever you need them. So now we'll, I'll show you how to firstly clean and then lube your drive chain yourself at home. Now we don't have any clean, cleaners or lubricants here, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how to do it yourself or uh, with the help of a friend. So this is your motorcycle, just put it on the side stand. And firstly you need to check uh, the chains uh, lubrication which is on it so if you see like on this chain you can see it's pretty warmed up and pretty dry right now so this chain needs lubrication the lesser the lube the faster the chain would wear out the more the lube the lesser the chain would wear out now these are road going chains and you don't need to lube them very often but at least once every 500 kilometers is good now to put this up you can either pull the bike yourself like this and in that case you don't need a helper but uh, it's better if you can get one I mean use any of your friends or anyone just take the bike up a little bit so he'll just hold it for now and then I can just rotate the wheel you know firstly I clean the chain see this the sound that's coming right now this should not be there this should be a lot smoother this should not be there now you should also che uh, check once it's clean you should uh, start lubing it but before lubing make sure to dry the chain with a cloth now you can just do it very easily just keep rotating the wheel clean the chain with your uh, cloth and always do it in the opposite direction never in the direction where your wheel goes why because you can never clean your sprocket from here you will never do that but you always tend to clean your chain this over here so what happens is if you do the rotation this side there's a fair chance that your fingers might get trapped on these sprockets and if that happens it'll just snap off so you'll lose your fingers I've seen uh, this happening to a lot of people a lot of riders some of my known some technicians also that has had uh, that have had this accident so I don't want this to happen to any one of you now this is the chain part keep this back Thank you. now we check the chain slack now this chain, it looks very loose. The slack would be mentioned on your swing arm or somewhere around here, there should be a sticker or your uh, manuals, user manuals, it should be there. The slack would be mentioned. How many millimeters you want to put your slack. So just uh, check it and you can adjust it. Either by yourself, it's very easy. You just need to loosen one nut over there, this nut. And these are your adjusters. You need to adjust this same on both sides remember this same on both sides otherwise there are markers for this for adjusting the adjusters but if you don't do it the same on both sides what happens is that your front wheel and your rear wheel uh, you just need a good light source or maybe daylight you can check it the thing that's catching on your rotor now this is your disc rotor the thing that's catching on your rotor are the brake pads the thickness you can check from here and to maintain it, you just need to use a brake cleaner on the pads. Now, if the thickness is good enough, then you don't need to change them. You just need to clean them once. But if the thickness you see is too thin, then I would suggest don't go for the ride anymore. Get it changed at a workstation, service station. So, same for the rear. It's visible from this uh, pad. So, it's just the frame touching the brake rotor or the brake disc as we call it. Now on the front, if you see, there's still material left, but this one needs a change immediately. And it's very risky. What will happen is that if he keeps on breaking too much with the rear, he'll start losing. So you need to check if it's moving or not. If it's moving, which it is, this needs a replacement in the drum rubber. Something that sits inside the rear wheel drum. These rubbers need to be replaced. Then this will be very precise with the front. Even if we have a sliding or a slightly misbehaving rear, we can control the bike, but a misbehaving front cannot be controlled. If we lose the front in any case, that is something major. So just grab onto your handlebars, stick it to one side, and just try to move the front. If it moves side to side. If it doesn't, that means your bearings are fine. If it does move, get your bearings changed. So these are small steps. But then they are very important to keep you safe on the bike and on the entire trip. Because these small things will save or compromise your rider safety. So with that said, I would like to end the demonstration. I hope it's clear to all of you.
Shall we let's have some lunch? Uh, we're all starving, and then we'll take the return journey back home. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we have finished our food, and all the briefing and everything is done. Everything is sorted now, and now we have packed up, and we are going back to Gohanti. So here I'm ending the ride right now, and I'll see you in another vlog. Keep sure to watch, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye from ETA Racing. Is <laughs> 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 <laughs>